So in precisely the same way that if I was to expand 1 plus 2x to the 3 halves, I would replace each of the x's in the expansion with 2x, I can also work out the range of validity by substituting the x in the range for 2x as well. Okay, So it works in precisely the same way. So if we look at number 1, 1 plus x to the minus 3, then the range of validity is just mod x is less than 1. That minus 3 has no bearing on the range of validity. Okay, In none of these cases does that power have any influence on it whatsoever. So 1 minus x to the half, this time I would replace the x with minus x. So we'd have mod of minus x is less than 1. But because we've got the modulus signs around it, the modulus signs take uh, care of the negative sign. And so this is the same thing as mod x is less than 1. Okay, So mod of x is less than 1 in both of those first two cases. Now 1 plus 2x to the 3 halves, replace the x with 2x in the range of validity. And then you can divide both sides by 2. So mod x is less than a half. OK. Now let's just uh, change my pen. OK. I was dying a little bit. Now 1 minus 5x to the 6 sevenths. The 6 sevenths has nothing to do with it. Replace the x with minus 5x in the range of validity. Then divide both, well, the modulus sign takes care of the minus sign. Then divide both sides by 5. So mod x is less than 1 fifth. 1 plus a third x to the minus 7. Replace the x with a third x. Then multiply both sides by 3. 1 minus 2 ninths x to the minus, fifth, to the minus 5 thirteenths. So replace the x with minus 2 ninths x. The modulus sign takes care of the minus. Divide both sides by the 2 ninths, so multiply both sides by the 9 halves. So mod x is less than 9 halves. Then finally, 2 take away 12x to the minus 100. Now for this, you've got to sort out uh, the 2 first. So we're going to have to factor 2 out of the first two terms. 1 minus 6x to the minus 100. So 2 to the minus 100, 1 minus 6x to the minus 100. OK. At that stage, I'm ready because now I can replace the x with minus 6x. Then div divide both sides by 6. The minus sign is taken care of. OK. So mod x is less than a sixth. And to be clear, right, in all of these cases, um, what we're saying, you know, if I just take one like that one, for example, what this means is that x must be between minus one fifth and one fifth. That is what that modulus inequality actually stands for. OK, so if that was unclear, but hopefully, you know, once you've gone through enough of these, you can do this part of it reasonably quickly.